Last night, 14 people stayed here at the shelter at Over Lake Park Presbyterian Church, including several children who are with their parents. Now, the Red Cross says they've already seen more people sign up to stay tonight after some people resorted to staying in their cars following the fire. Some things you can never fully prepare for. We got multiple calls at about 2.55 yesterday reporting flames crawling up the building, shooting out of the apartment roof. A fire Tuesday afternoon destroying 21 apartment units, leaving 30 more without power and causing one person to be rescued from the third floor right when firefighters arrived. Went immediately to rescue mode when they realized that there was somebody that was trapped in a building. Now Wednesday, investigators are trying to figure out what caused the fire to start in a ground floor apartment where no one was home at the time. Oh, Red Cross always has coffee. This is as the families who lost their homes try to figure out what to do next. We have a place for them to sleep and try to care for whatever medical needs and personal needs they have. Norm Bottenberg is one of several volunteers with the Red Cross hosting an evacuation center at a church down the street. Cereals, fruit, soups. This is available all the time. More than a dozen people stayed at the shelter Tuesday night, including kids, and will stay open as long as it's needed. We try and make it as, as family-like as we can. In a group setting, that's somewhat difficult, but that's, that's our goal. Red Cross workers say they are there to provide more than just shelter. We have disaster health services. We can help people get lost medications that were lost in the fire. We can help we replace things like that. So there are a ton of other resources, so we really encourage people to reach out. With a disaster like this, families can only prepare so much, which is why Norm hopes they can help them on the road ahead. First of all, I wish it never happened. <laughs> uh, I hope they I, I hope they have a quick and uh, full recovery. The Bellevue Fire Department spokesperson says there were no sprinklers in the building. That's because they were not required when that complex was built. In Bellevue, Connor Board, King 5 News.